Hi, I'm Miss Walker, and in this video, I'm going over week seven, Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Oh, I can't dance. Okay, here we go. And we're going over tiger prep. So it's time for what? Tiger prep. It's going over all the skills that we've learned, and it's going to help you get ready for the next grade. Here we go. Letter A. Describe each multiplication model. So in my classroom, we know that when we have groups, we don't read it as something times something. We read it as blank groups of something. So we've got to see, first of all, how many groups do we have? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And it just works better to circle it so they can actually see the groups. I know they're separated, but it works better. So we have six groups of, and there are three in each one. So six groups of three equals, and I know my multiplication, so I know this is 18. My factors are six and three, my product is 18. Moving on to the next one, I'm going to circle my groups. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and there are five in each group. So I'm going to have the factors of five. Both factors are five. So five groups of five equals 25. So my product is 25. On this next one, I'm circling my groups. I have one, two, three groups of ooh, one, two, three, four of eight. I thought it was six because I had this covered, but we have eight. Three groups of eight. Three groups of eight equals 24. So my product on this one is 24. Letter B, shade and equivalent fraction. Well, first of all, we need to know what equivalent means. So whenever my students see equivalent, they underline equivalent and they write equal or they write the same. So we're looking for a fraction that is the same. So if I have one half shaded on this one, I need to know how many fourths they are, how many fourths there are to get one half. So if I shade in one fourth, that's not enough. So I shade in another one. So I know that one half is equivalent to two fourths. On this next one, I have one half. I'm trying to find out how many sixths. One sixth isn't enough. Two sixths isn't enough. So I shade one more and I get three sixths. So one half is equivalent to three sixths. On the last one, I have two thirds. Two thirds is equivalent to not one sixth, not two sixths, not three sixths, but four sixths. So two thirds is the same as four sixths. All right, I'm moving on to letter C. Find each sum. Sum means to add. It's the answer to an addition problem or difference. Difference means we're going to subtract. That's the answer to a subtraction problem. We're going to start in our ones place on all of the addition or subtraction problems. Two plus three gives me five. Five plus two gives me seven. And three plus nothing gives me three. So my sum is 375. Moving on to the next one to find the difference. I have a seven down below, I'm trying to take seven away from zero. I can't do that. There's more on the floor, so I go next door, get 10 more. My six is now five tens, and because I took a 10 from my tens place, I now have 10, 10 ones in my ones place. 10 minus seven is three, five tens minus one 10 is four, and 500 minus nothing is five. So the difference is 543. On the next one, I'm finding the sum. 9 plus 3 is 12. 2 in my 1's place, my 1 above my 10's place. 2 10's plus 1 10 is 3 10's plus 1 more 10 is 4 10's. And in my 100's place, I have 4 100's. So my sum is 442. 
Moving on to the next one with subtraction. I have five and I'm trying to take away eight. There's no way I can do that. I have more on the floor. I go next door to my tens place and I take a 10. So now I have seven tens. I bring my 10 and I break it up into ones. So 10 ones plus five ones is 15. So I have 15 ones here. 15 take away eight leaves me with seven. I know eight plus eight is 16 minus one. Um, from my eight is seven. Seven minus two is five. And two minus nothing is two. My difference is 257. Moving on to number one. Rashida bought a new book on Monday. She read 15 pages on Monday night. I'm going to circle 15. And 21 pages on Tuesday. If her book is 127 pages long, how many pages must she read to finish the book? So first of all, I'm thinking to myself and I'm like, okay, this has to be a two-step problem because on Monday she reads 15 pages, on Tuesday she reads 21 pages. So I know that I'm probably going to put those two numbers together. But then it says her book is 127 pages long. So I know I'm not going to add to 127 because that's my total number of pages. I can't get anything more than 127. So I'm going to have to subtract whatever I get from 127. So I could start with 127, take away 21 because she read that, and take away 15 because she read that. But what I like to do is I like to go ahead and add those two numbers, 21 and 15, because she read 21 Tuesday, she read 15 on Monday, 5 plus 1 is 6, and 2 plus 1 is 3. But my answer is not 36. I know she has a total of 127 pages. And she's already read 36. So I'm trying to figure out how many pages does she have left. Seven take away six is one. And then I know that there's more on the floor in my tens place. But if I went next door, this one would turn into a zero and my two would be 12. And I already have 12 right here. So I'm just going to do 12 take away three. And 12 take away three leaves me with nine. So my difference is going to be 91. I'm going to go ahead and bubble that in. And I'm going to move on to number two. Number two says Bert has 124 stamps in his collection. Phil has 116. Yolanda has 120. And Beverly has 119. Which lists these numbers in order? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Like my, I think my internet timed out. Sorry if I was making weird faces. Okay, I'm gonna start over from Yolanda has 120 and Beverly has 119. Which lists these numbers in order from least to greatest. So that means from the smallest to the biggest. I'm looking at these numbers and I know 116 is the smallest. So I know it's got to start with 116. So A starts with 116. B does not, so it can't be B. C does, but D doesn't. So I'm looking at letter C and letter A. So I know that once I use 116, I have 119, 120, 124. 119 would come next. So I know it has to be C because 119 is next on this one and A has 120. That's not correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and bubble in letter C. And moving on to number three. Number three says, Carrie has to carry. That's funny. 15 logs from the woodshed to the fireplace. If she carries the logs in groups of five, how many trips will she have to make? So if she's carrying them in groups of five, I personally go ahead and solve it without the picture because sometimes the pictures can be wrong. Sometimes they won't put enough logs. In this case, they do have enough, but I'm going to go ahead and count it out on my fingers. So if I have um, 
a problem where it has five in it. And I know that I'm going to do. So we haven't talked about the operation yet. Hold on. She has 15 logs total. And she wants to carry them in groups of five. I know that I'm going to do division because I know the total. She has 15 total logs. And it says we're going to do groups. So the division chant my kids would do is division, division. We know the total. We know the total. Have to divide, have to divide or partition or partition. And we also know the groups. So we're going to divide. Now I'm going to count by five so I get to 15. Five, 10, 15. It should be three groups, but I'm going to go ahead and circle it on here. So here's one group of five. Here's two groups of five. And then here's my third group of five. So my answer is going to be three. All right, number four. I'm trying to go quicker because I know it's Friday. Y'all trying to get done. So number four. <laughs> Which quadrilateral, first of all, whenever we see quadrilateral, we underline the quad and we put the number four because we know quadrilaterals have four sides. So which quadrilateral has a perimeter? Whenever we see this word, we circle the T and we put a plus sign because we add with perimeter of 14 units. So we would ask the class, we would ask the class, how do you find perimeter at all the side lengths? So we got to figure out which one's 14. Well, Three plus three is six plus three more is nine plus three more is 12. So it is not A. All right. I'm going to do the ones that are um, have all the same numbers because they're easier to count. Four plus four is eight plus four is 12 plus four is 16. That is not the answer. Now I'm going to move on to this one. So one thing that you can do is you can continue to go around like I did on the first ones. So five plus three is eight plus five is 13 plus three is 16. So you can do that or you can do five plus five is 10, three plus three is six, 10 plus six is 16. I'm going to write it out for you because not nice to just spout numbers without any actions. So five plus five is 10. And then I know three plus three is six. And then 10 plus six is 16. So that is wrong. Now, if you have to go around your shape, then go around your shape. I, some of my kids don't have to do that. And I tell them if you don't get confused and it's just four numbers, you can do it however it makes sense to you because with math, you can move those numbers around. But when you have problems where it's like six or seven or eight numbers that you have to add for perimeter, it is best that you go around the shape in order. These just have four numbers. So it's not gonna confuse you as bad if you just go ahead and um, add them any way that makes sense to you, which is what I'm going to do for this one on letter C. 5 plus 5 is 10. 2 plus 2 is 4. 10 plus 4 is 14. All right. Moving on to number 5. It is the last one. Whoop, whoop. All right. Let's use blue because I haven't used it yet says the graph shows the number of sack lunches that Amy brought to school in four months. The title of this is sack lunches, but it is a pictograph. So we always look for a key and the keys at the bottom. It says each bag means three sack lunches. So that means I'm counting by three. So August has three. September has three, six, nine, 12, 15. If you remember the pictograph video, remember I told you that you can just automatically come down if they're in the same spot and they are um, equal. So this one we already know is 15 plus three more is 18. 
or you could do the multiplication and we know we're counting by three and we have one, two, three, four groups. Four times three is 12 or four groups of three is 12. So that is another way that you could fill out your pictograph. It just depends on what makes sense to you and what you're comfortable with. Letter A, how many sack lunches did she bring to school in September? So I'm looking at September, she has 15. So my answer to letter A is 15. Boom. Then I'm going to letter B, how many sack lunches did she bring to school in October? October has 18. And November, November has 12 combined. Combined means that we are going to add, we're putting them together. So yes, I do a lot of actions in class. So combined means to put it together. So we're gonna do 18 plus 12. And I know that eight plus two is 10, so I am gonna have to regroup. Eight plus two gives me 10. My zeros in my ones place, my plus one is above my tens place. One plus one plus one is three. So my sum on this one, the sum is an answer to an addition problem, is 30. And that is the end. I'm double checking to make sure everything is done. Everything is done. You have questions, whatever about anything that went on in this video um, besides my mess ups you can count them if you'd like and send me a message how many times did i go blah, blah, blah. all right i hope you have a great rest of your friday and a great weekend stay safe i love you bye